Hey guys, I'm Lon here from Oasis. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about Plant Species Care Guide, specifically how to take care and to... So this is all the enterium that I have in my studio. And also I have a few more enteriums in my collection. I grow them in outdoor conditions. You can check it out in my another video of my Alonis uh, Oasis Garden. There are a few type of enteriums in wild and from what we know, it's epiphytic anterior and also terrestrial anterior. The common one, terrestrial anterior, uh, anterior magnificum and also anterior regal. Those are the big type of anterior that can grow really huge foliage plants. I mean, they can grow large. When I say large, it's really large leaves. So those are terrestrial anterior. Another type of epiphytic anterior are uh, anterior wildquenium, anterior balawenum. Those need pole to climb up. And in the forest, of course, they love to grow on the steep hill and also they prefer high humidity. So all these type of plants, you will have to understand the way they grow them first. Then we can provide the exact conditions to grow them. And I would like to talk about how I take care of them in my studio. So in the outdoor conditions, it's quite simple. Uh, I just uh, water them two or three times a day. I'm also using the magical raw mix, which we are selling here. And it's porous and I only feed them occasionally with extract seaweed and I will add in some control release fertilizer which we have it here is called Wetacot and other than that I don't really uh, take exclusive um, attention to them so those are the hardy type of anterior that I have in my outdoor gardens over here this is the type of anterior that is really delicate so for example I have a uh, dark form I try in my outdoor conditions it's really hard to grow the only things to grow them here is actually to get an importance of conducive environment so temperature really plays a role here. So I'm going to talk about how to take care of them. There's a few criteria to uh, take notes. So the most important is temperature. So I find the trick to grow best for anterior, especially those delicate ones like the queen and also other types of anterior, especially uh, the bliss hybrid. I realize temperature really plays a role to keeping them happy. So how to make sure the temperature is good? If you are Malaysians, uh, plant lover, move them indoor to provide them a conducive environment so you can actually grow them in a more regular temperature. So in outdoor condition, like I say, I only grow hardy type anterior like the Regal, the Magnificum, and uh, they, they are okay. But in outdoor, there's actually a downside is uh, there's a lot of fluctuated um, temperature and also the volatile condition, especially when it's raining and then something's too hot especially Malaysia condition, you guys know that and it will actually encourage a lot of fungal and so disease on the plants so they are not in a perfect condition. Trick number two will be humidity. I always ask a lot of people, how do you grow anterior? So they told me humidity is the key but for me, I find that temperature is the first criteria that we have to take note of. Once you have the temperature correct, humidity will be the key to grow them well. So for me, I have a humidifier here so constantly misting them to make sure the plants is really happy especially for Queen anterior and other type of hybrid. The last one is the soil mix. To provide them the good soil mix is to make sure the porosities in the potting media are make sure the water flows smoothly without any stagnant water in the pots. So for anteriums, right, especially the epiphyte type of anteriums, they really hate stagnant water in the pots. That's why we have to make sure the potting media are porous enough so that you can grow them happily. We're gonna show you what kind of soil mix I use. Usually I will use my magical raw mix and also I will mix with a lot of uh, Pomestone stone as a draining layer and another layer of soy mix and stir it up a little bit and add in another soy mix media. So most of my anterior are using these two types of mixtures together so you can see they are growing really happy here. So after I talk about all the tricks here, I'm going to show you guys the collections in my studio. This is all the delicate anterior that I have in my IKEA cabinet. This is anterior crystal item selected form. They say it's a crystallinum white stripes, you know. And this one used to grow in my gardens because of the temperature is too hot. That's why I have to move it in the IKEA cabinet. This is an uh, anterior mesa FF. This is a Warraquanium hybrid crossed with Angamakanum. And a crystallinum Debilis hybrid. Of course, the Diva Queen, anterior queen, anterior Warraquanium. So basically, I got this like two months ago and it started to grow new shoots right now. I'm gonna keep you guys updated how's the condition like. And this is Anterium Magnificum Cross with the Belize. And 
it has a debilis gene, that's why it's really fussy to take care of. But I actually reckon that this hybrid eye is so much easier to take care. So I move it into the IKEA cabinets that are doing really fine here. And this is a Crystal Linum Round CrossFit Anterium Luxurin. This is the new leaf that's growing and it has a bloom here also. This is another cross of Crystal Linum crossed with uh, Anterium Luxurin. So I can see the lobes are really different compared to this one and also the bulleted uh, textures of the foliage with the dark you know, colour, it looks really contrast, it looks really nice. Some over here are Crystallinum Dorayaki. This one is Anterium Splendidum, which Irene asked me to help her to take care. After I take care for about two weeks, this is the new leaf that sprout. And this is Anterium Vecii. I got this plant, I think, a month ago and during the package, it damaged the leaf and uh, thread knots. And right now, they are trying to grow some new shoots here. And, uh, and also, this is another Anterium BVID. I think it's called Black Velvet Indonesia. So it's a hybrid, complex hybrid. And this is a new leaf that just emerged, I think, days ago. And another one will be this. This is uh, Anterium Crystallinum mixed with uh, Debilis. The dark foliage with the related textures of foliage looks rather mesmerizing. So after all the introductions of the plants collection that I have in my studio, I'm gonna show you guys some actions of how to report my anterior luxury here. Uh, recently, the plant doctor just bring in some new big size plant pot. I mean, you see, this is uh, five five Lima Kali XL. <laughs> I think it's called five. XL pot here. Another one is Empat Kali XL pot. So this is the biggest pot that we have for indoor growing uh, conditions. It's beneficial to observe the root growth and also it's really good for us to present it in any pot you want with a decorative pot. You can plant pots here and then you can get another decorative pot just to cover up the transparent one. So like I say, usually when I start to repot the plants, I will put a draining layer at the bottom of the pot. So at here, I already added some pumice stone. This is double XL pumice stone. So we add a layer of pumice stone first. Then we can start to do the reporting. I mean, after the drainage layer. So we can add in the soil here. Okay, good enough. So I'm gonna take out the plant to observe the root system. Usually, when the plant is growing healthy, you can see it's growing new leaf. And when you see they are starting to grow the spadex, I think that's the sign of a healthy plant, especially N2. So I'm gonna pull out N2 to observe the root system. Okay, just squeeze the pot a little bit. Loosen the root ball. Pull out. Ah. All right, let's go. I think here has sufficient enough of uh, you know polite stone already, so I won't be adding a lot more amendment. So I'll straight away adding the soy mix. Tap tap. Adding some pumice stone. And add another layer of soy mix. So after the reporting is done, usually we add in some control release fertilizer. I'm using Vita coats. So just put it in here. Just right amount. Rounding the pot. Now let's water the plant. After reporting done, we're gonna make sure to water the plant thoroughly. When you water then, the porosity of the soil will actually make sure the soil will drain up from the pot immediately. And the benefit of having a transparent pot is to see the flows of the water and also the development of the roof system. Make sure it's water one more time. That's all for today guys. That's how I take care of my entrums indoor and also the outdoor conditions. So if you really like the video, please hit the like and also subscribe my YouTube channel. Share with your friends and family. If you want to see anything new, drop a comment in the comment box below. That's it for today guys. Bye-bye.